The third measure of position is called quartiles. It's actually just another form of percentiles, where in this case, quartiles, think quarters, 25 cents. So again, we're looking for a position. We need an ordered list, but instead of breaking it into 100 parts, it's breaking it into four parts, just like there are four quarters in a dollar. So we are going to be using Q1, which would be 25% for one um, quarter. Then, you know, that means that Q2 isn't the second position, it's the second quarter, so it's the 50% mark, etc. So in this next problem, we have to find Q1. Wait, is the list ordered? Remember, it doesn't do us any good unless we order the list, so I need to do that first. Sometimes I found that it's best if I kind of cross off each number as I go, <coughs> excuse me, or I'll also count how many numbers I had and make sure when I reorder it, I have that same amount of numbers so I don't make a mistake. So now my list is in order and I'm ready to find Q1. Q1, it's the same thing as P25. It's the 25th percentile. So that means I need to take 25 times, wait, how many um, numbers were in the list? six, okay, divide by 100, and I get 1.5. Now remember, 1.5 is the location, it's not the final answer. Also, in this case, 1.5 is a decimal. So remember, we bump to the next location, so 1.5 would bump to number two, the second entry. So as I go up to the list, I find the second entry, and that's my answer. 78. Now, for problem B, I have to find Q3. So three quarters, which is 75 cents. I need the 75th percentile, 75% of the way through an ordered list. So for my location, I start off 75 times the six numbers in the list and get 100. And I'm going to let you finish it from there and we'll go over it in class.